Happy Wednesday. Yep, you know it. Best day of the week. The reason for that is because on Wednesday, we take a look at some wisdom from God. Quick reminder of how we use these Proverbs. We take these brief statements, sometimes just a sentence or two. We look back. We look back to see how this way that God has ordered the world to work best and our lives to be lived best, how we see that take place. Maybe it's times that we've nailed it. Maybe it's times we've missed the mark. Or maybe we've seen one or the other in somebody else. These aren't absolute laws. They're not strict commandments. They're often guiding principles, things that should shape our action. And when our thoughts or our actions line up with these, it tends to be the best way to go. Seeing that in the past, whether it was seeing it by totally missing it or totally nailing it, gives us some guidance for the future. And walking with God's word into the future helps us grow and mature. All right. Maybe you've noticed if you've stuck with me for all these Wednesdays, maybe you've noticed that some themes continually rise to the surface. And that's totally true. When I open the book of Proverbs and I just start paging around, I often think, huh, I feel like I've already done this one. Then I look back and at my list of ones I've done, nope, just found similar words in a different spot. Shows me that's important. One of the ones that bubbles to the top a lot is about kindness. Let's see it. Proverbs 11 verse 17 says this, a man who is kind benefits himself, but a cruel man hurts himself. Like I said, kindness is a theme that we've seen bubble up before. These words, they're simple, they're true, but I think there is some need for lived clarification. The reason why this proverb is, well, it's simple, but also surprising is because typically we think of both kindness and cruelty as being something that faces outward, and it is. But the proverb teaches us that when we're kind to others, it creates a better community for us to live in. When we're cruel to others, it creates a worse community for us to live in. My second bullet here is important, I think. One of the things that God's word teaches us is this. If you've ever found yourself sitting around wondering why there isn't more kindness in the world, why you don't see more kindness on a day-to-day -day basis, instead of shouting out the windows for too much of your day, you should be more kind in the world. It's important to me that you know that this is not some kind of cosmic karma. It's also not a math equation that says, every time I'm kind, someone is kind to me back. It's just not that. It's a general guidance that you and I should be kind in this world, in our relationships. And likely when we're like that, some of that will come back at us. Truth is, as you can probably see looking back in your lives, we often get from others what we give to others. Really, it's a lot like the golden rule that Jesus said. This time, it's from the book of Proverbs. Be the way you want people to be to you. And simple things like kindness. Doesn't cost you a thing. But it's a part of the beautiful life that God calls us to. And it's a lovely witness in this world. Let's close with prayer. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to the world's standards, but according to yours. Help me to choose daily the way of wisdom and the way of Jesus. Amen. As always, thanks for clicking. See you next time.